Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl B Sparrow, Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. The No Audience Podcast. <laughs> How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Thankful to be amongst the living. All praises to the most high y'all. If you are within the sound of my voice, I'm thankful that he woke you up this morning too. Just want to talk about beauty today. You know, a lot of people think that beauty is how someone look on the outside. But beauty is actually a combination of qualities such as shape, color, or form that pleases the aesthetic senses, especially the sight. Confucius once said, everything has its beauty, but not everyone sees it. There are so many sayings when it comes to beauty, such as, beauty is only skin deep. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty comes from within and so forth. There is also that beauty, that that new um, saying that beauty is in the jab which is usually referencing beauty enhancements such as Botox, pills and fillers, fat transfer procedures, and so forth. Now, fat transfer procedures or fat grafting, also referred to as fat transfer or fat injections, is the surgical process by which fat is transferred from one area of the body to another area. The surgical goal is to improve or augment the area where the fat is injected, according to PlasticSurgery.org. And this leads me to my article for today. A New York City Department of Corrections Captain 49 dies after traveling to the Dominican Republic to get fat transfer procedure done. The plastic surgeon fled the U.S. in 2011 after pleading guilty to practicing medicine without a license. So, let me go and get my article, y'all, and I'm going to get into this. I'm going to be right back. Okay? Okay. What is up, y'all? You're listening to B Sparrow on Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Okay, y'all, I got my article, and I hope you guys were able to hear me in the beginning because I did realize that my device was turned halfway down. But anyway, according to this article, A New York corrections officer has died after going under the knife in the Dominican Republic at the hands of a plastic surgeon who had prosecuted, who had been prosecuted in New York illegally carrying out procedures in the United States. Tondra Bowser Williams, 49, who worked on Rikers Island, suffered a small stroke one day after her fat transfer procedure at Dr. Hector Cabrera's Centro International Plastic Surgery Clinic, y'all, in Santo Domingo on May 13th. Dr. Cabral Hector, I think they said his first name is, Dr. Hector pleaded guilty to one kind of unauthorized practicing of medicine in October of 2021 in New York and then returned to the Dominican Republic where he still practices. 
butt lifts and fat transfers are some of his clinic's specialties. Her name was Sandra Bowser Williams, 49. Worked on Rikers Island and died after the plastic surgery procedure given by Hector Cabal. And y'all know I can jack up some names, so uh, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that right. Cabral, but that's what it looked like to me. Hector Cabral. She tragically died before her devastated husband, Curtis Williams could fly out to the clinic in the island nation to be by her side. Days earlier, his companion of 26 years had promised him that he was going to love the results of her procedure, but then he received a call from a nurse at the United Hearts Clinic that his wife had suddenly taken ill. Her exact words to me were, you're going to love Dr. Cabal's work. I didn't care one way or another. I accepted my wife the way she was, Williams told the Daily News. They brought my wife out of the medically induced coma so she could unlock her phone. So that's how she was able to get in touch with me, he explained. Williams was told by her surgeon that a stroke has swallowed her brain. So they didn't even have any next of kin information from her. They just asked her, I mean, they just revived her long enough for her to unlock her phone. He said they brought my wife out of the medically induced coma so that she could unlock her phone. So sometimes When we try to be beautiful by other people's standards, it can cause us our life. Mr. Williams goes on to say, I heard my wife in the background and she was complaining about her stomach and her butt. Williams told the news that his wife was a dedicated mother and nerves of steel and was raising her own son together with her two sisters, a young nephew, and three foster kids. Everybody is distraught. She was the heart, the lifeline of the family, the heartbeat, he said. Her co-workers on Rikers also paid tribute to Bowser Williams. She was also a good captain, never tried to escape work, Always worked in the jails, always worked with inmates, said President of the Corrections of the Correction Captains Union. It's a real loss. She certainly didn't deserve this. She was a trooper. It does not appear that Browser Williams' death is under investigation, but Cabral, Hector Cabral, had been in touch with the law before, had been in trouble with the law before, having been indicted in 2011 by then New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. Gabal had examined at least 10 women in the Washington Heights area of Manhattan in local health spas and beauty parlors without a license before luring them to the Dominican Republic for operations. Some of the women were left disfigured 
legal papers reveal. Gabral avoided jail after making a deal with prosecutors and had to pay a $5,000 fine, $23,055 in restitution and conduct 250 hours of community service in the, in the Dominican Republic. Cabral's clinic has been shut down on numerous occasions due to allegations of faulty procedures which have caused deaths before reopening. In 2017, at least four women also died during surgeries with Cabral at the same clinic with eight New Yorkers who went or underwent surgery at his clinic contracting skin infections. In July of 2018, Catherine Jacqueline Perez Mina traveled from the United States to Cabral's clinic and suffered a deadly heart attack during surgery. In May of 2019, following the death of patients um, Al Gracia, Alt Gracia, Diaz, Cardi B took to Instagram to her Instagram account to offer her condolences to Diaz's family and shared her own close brush with Cabral, explaining how she had previously scheduled a surgery with him before backing out. I was once going to operate with him but I had a feeling and I did it with another doctor the Grammy, the Grammy Award winning rapper said Grammy Award winning rapper you realize that when God opens your eyes it is for a reason I am sad and it hurts because I know that the family is very hurt right now but it could be my family that was suffering this was like God giving me a sign Wow. So, I don't know by whose standards, but yes, I do, that the women, and especially black women, are going by today in 2022. But you have to love yourself no matter what. And I'm talking to myself too. I'm not just preaching. I'm because I'm 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 ministering to myself too, because there's some parts of my body that I absolutely do not like and have thought about going to surgery but and especially after reading this article i have i have my thoughts i have my doubts i came across this poem by an english poet named thomas campion he was a renaissance a renaissance english poet it reads, beauty is but a painted hell. She wounds them that admire it. Beauty is a painted hell. Beauty is but a painted hell. She wounds them that admire it. She kills them that desire it. Give her pride but fuel no fire is more cruel. I am so sorry that this happened to that lady. All in the name of beauty, she wanted to get her body in shape. She wanted to, I think she felt like her body was misproportioned. Because I saw her picture, her full figured picture. So, and I can't go by what I think this lady thought. But anyway, I'm sorry that she lost her life wanting to beautify herself. That's the only way that I can put it. That's the only way that I can put it. <laughs> So let me know what y'all think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Not just to my YouTube channel, but come on over here to my podcast 
on Spreaker.com, Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Follow me there. And in return, I'll do the same. It's your girl, B Sparrow, Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Holla at y'all, girl. Okay? Okay? <laughs>